Hey guys, welcome to Slash Rex Games. I'm very excited to start the momentous task of networking in Game Maker using the wonderful HTTP DLL2 created by Martin Burt. Here on the YoYo Games uh, forum, we can see the official DLL page for um, this networking DLL. Here he speaks about um, creating the first one and then having to redefine it because it was too hard to use. And um, as you can see, all these new features he's got here and some uh, security, compression. He also mentions um, how his DLL fixes some of the problems with uh, 39 stars, uh, 39 DLL. That's quite an old one. In my opinion, this is ultimately uh, one of the best networking DLLs you can use um, that's not officially created by GameMaker. So firstly, you're probably asking yourself, what is HTTP DLL2? Well, basically, when GameMaker came out, it had some terrible networking functions. Um, and they, they were just horrible. So what certain people did was create extensions that would take over the functions of the networking for GameMaker. So you could use um, user-created extensions. They had better functionality, uh, better support, and um, they were way more reliable. So HTTP uh, DLL2 is an example of one of those. There's also Fossil Networking, as well as 39 says 39 DLL, which is a little aged, but most people like to start there and then move on to other networking extensions, such as this one or Fossil Networking. But it all depends on how much time you want to spend on this, because learning 39 says 1 will give you a good foundation, but then again, you're going to have to redo all your code with any of the other networking DLLs because they are not in any way compatible with each other. One of the main reasons I'm doing HTTP DLL2 is practically because when I started uh, jumping into networking from doing absolutely no game making networking at all, I didn't even attempt to use the mplay functions, um, I just went to this one because of the great support from Martin Bird himself. You can ask him questions on this forum right here and he actually replies to you, which is excellent, as long as it's related to the actual um, the actual extension. It should be fine. And um, yeah, um, his examples are just amazing. So in later tutorials, well, the next one after this, we're going to be going through his movement tutorial and picking it apart and we be showing you how the, the inner workings of this extension actually um, happen. So scrolling down, here we see um, he's got some versions. He's got an older version. He's got the latest one is DLL 2.3 release 5. That's one we're going to be using. Now, uh, one big thing is all his examples are GameMaker 8. Now, because of the way GameMaker Studio is made and stuff like that, they've created their own, um, well, they've created new functions to replace the mplay functions of GameMaker, um, the legacy versions. But the problem with those functions is they have the same names as the ones created by Martin Burt's HTTP DLL2. And ultimately, that meant he had to redefine all the functions once again uh, to cater for this new change. So if you import the uh, GameMaker 8 uh, movement client and movement server examples into GameMaker Studio, you'll get huge problems, and you'll end up having to rename all the, the buffer words from buffer to hbuffer. But we'll get to all that, and I will compile a, um, an import specifically for you that you can find in the next tutorial when we go through all that stuff, so you don't have to change that all yourself. So basically down here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the documentation. This will take us to uh, Martin Burt's website. This is his official page of the HTTP DLL2. He's got all the support here and he's got all the different things. There's buffers, there's MD5 and SHA1, sockets, UDP, HTTP, TTP, it's, it's all this amazing uh, content right over here. So whenever you get stuck working with his DLL, you can just jump onto here and he tells you absolutely everything you will need to know. So, yeah, and people just mention how it changed their lives. It's pretty interesting. Firstly, Let's go and download this. So HTTP DLL 2.3 release 5. This is the same link that you find here on this point, on this page. So get that. And once you get it, you will end up with this zip file, which if you extract over here, bam, open it up. You will have the GPL license. You can read that. Um, yeah, it's free, free software and whatnot. Then here we've got the C++. Look at this. All this code is just readily available. Look at that. You can check through that if you really want to find out how it works. Um, on a different level. And then if we go into the game maker, here we have all the examples as well as the um, extension files. So notice here it's got the extension files for game maker 8. Then he's also got the studio ones here, but these all these examples don't use the the studio's um, extensions. So you'd have to rename a whole lot of stuff, but I'll do that all for you. So there we go. So we've got the DLL 
we know exactly where to find all of the documentation. So in this, the next the tutorials that are going to be released over the next few weeks, we're going to be going over um, certain concepts such as um, creating user profiles, um, so that's logging in and account registry. Then we're going to be going over movement. Let's play movement. There's going to be shooting. Um, perhaps there's going to be player select customization. Maybe if there's anything else you can suggest, just whack it down in the description, or you can send me a message to I don't know the inbox or put it on my channel discussion or whatnot. If you've got any um, more specific ideas, we can probably tackle those too. So as we go through this tutorial, we'll be referring to um, Martin Bird's actual page here. And um, yeah, we'll be going through what buffers are and sockets and UDP and MD5 and all this stuff. So ultimately, yeah, let me check. This is amazing, all these functions he's added here compared to all the other networking DLLs. OK, so that about wraps up the tools, getting all the tools for um, the networking tutorial series that I'm going to be creating. So that is the start. Hope you enjoyed this quick tools introduction. In the next tutorial, we're going to jump right into this movement client, movement server. Please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, like my Facebook page. You can also buy me a coffee sometime. Links are in the description. And I'll see you guys next time for another great gaming tutorial.